but we are here with Bella Nessus. So, a quick run now. We are in the third division of Portugal, as mentioned. We are expecting to get relegated. Actually, I didn't really know, know that. I believe we had just risen. Um, but we are one of the few teams that have won the Portuguese top division title. And that is the goal of this series. To get us back on top. To take down Porto, Benfica, and Sporting. Who have been kind of the gauntlet of three. We want to add our name to the ring and be the fourth. I think we have less dominant teams to face off. We have less games, at least in these first few seasons. But one of the major issues that is coming on, um, and I and a reason I almost vetoed this team to try something else, though we may, that may still happen. Um, I don't know if I like that for my point, but if we go five years into the future, they just want us to continue avoiding relegation. Makes me think the board is not exactly the most ambitious, and makes me think that that might be a little bit of a challenge for our ambition of becoming one of the best teams in Portugal again. So the squad, they have, they have like 25 members. So our top players, though, we'll go through them. Miguel Tavares, I think, is the guy that we have to build around. Um, and then we got to find somewhere to put this man. I, I'm, I'm not sure. He doesn't quite work or like, you know, would he be the backup? I, you know, I'm not sure. The Mazala's interesting, um, or whether it's just a central midfielder on attack. I'm not sure um, exactly what we're looking at yet. We, we will look into, I have not set up our tactics or my thoughts on tactics yet. We will be getting into it. We also have a, this is another guy who could play the other inverted winger side he can also come back and play the complete wingbacks type side too um so he could be another offensive option for a guy that's maybe cutting in um a pretty flexible player that can just fill in a lot of positions um Giancarlo Maria um Yao Sosa is our best defender by a decent margin um looks pretty good um, and we get a guy that's like left-footed, so we just have to kind of find that right-footed partner. And then the other thing that makes me think a 4-4-3 is we have a couple of these guys that are pretty decent, like ball-winning mid uh, midfielders that can play kind of a defensive mid-roll or can, you know, or have some familiarity with it, um, where I think they can be good. good. Um, so... I think those are the guys that we're looking at. Oh, the other guy that definitely needs talking about, Pedro Martello, I think becomes our, our striker um, out of that group, but um, 15 jumping reach with guys that are good crossers, some decent finishing ability, they just sit up front. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I want him like truly playing poacher or if, or if I'm just gonna go advance forward. Advance forward is what I know and love. I think he can be a really dangerous striker that we got here. Um, I think the other major question is, you look at goalkeeper, we have a couple of goalkeepers that are very similar. Now, technically, I think Grillo is marked as the first choice. A little bit better distribution. I do think Ariel's important, though, and slightly higher potential, as little as it is, for as Azevedo. So, and they're very similar in age. They are really close together so i it might be a kind of a rotating system i mean this guy hates big matches i mean that's a pretty critical one i didn't really look into that previously um that's pretty, but we'll have to go through kind of each setup of the team scouting um formation what we're looking to do what we're looking to become um as we get to go I think we might just go like create our own and just go with what we're thinking. So I'm kind of agreeing with Grillo if he's gonna be the guy. And I think we're gonna create some balance in the fullbacks. You know, Martello's the guy. Sosa is probably the left center back. Then we probably have to figure out between these two guys. It looks like it should be Sarah. 
I think I'm gonna ask my defenders to be pretty rigid, at least in the beginning. I think we're definitely gonna play like a balanced mentality. I don't think I wanna push too much, but I also don't wanna like necessarily encourage a ton of pressure. Miguel Tavares, and we're, we're gonna be looking the other side. Tavares. We'll be looking at him as like an inside forward on attack. We want to him dangerous. That makes me really think that this side, we really want the inverted winger. Somebody that's like dealing on the other side. And then we really want to like maybe press forward. It might even be like a wing back on attack. I'll say support fullback. So I think at least at the beginning we'll say fullback, and if that's not quite doing what we're what I'm expecting, we might look at wingback. So that's kind of how that's gonna set up. In the middle. Yeah, so what does it say for like I think, I think we just want an additional defensive help. So I think just a pure defensive midfielder over a ball winner. It, it's possible, but I think like a ball winner more on support would necessarily be what we'd look for. So then Chavi, we're stepping him kind of into the midfield, right? And we're probably thinking like... So Mizala... What um, footedness are you? Right footed, right? So you would probably, if he's a Mazala, you would play him on the right side, but then we kind of have the inverted winger. So I feel like you would just kind of get into each other's way. So I'm thinking maybe a little bit simpler and just playing the central midfield on attack. Then I think a guy that can maybe do it all box to box maybe isn't the worst idea. You could also look at, but I think Mazala, you really look extra attack out of that. So I kind of like the idea of a box to box. And so I think that's kind of what we're playing. So now we're filling the roles. Anyway, we have our tactical layout. It's a decent front that I'm pretty confident in. I think, I think this is really strong. The back line definitely become shaky though in every single way yeah maybe we'll just maybe keep it a little bit simpler with what we think we can do with the control possession playoff defense scares me that does, definitely scares me um i think we would look to count and then we have to do something we're probably not going to press too high but we have to do something I'm thinking a, a high press, but we might go with the standard line. Is that what we want? But I think again, maybe we'll at least start with keeping that simple and we'll see if anything like is causing us problems. And most of the intensity is coming from our press. But I I think that's where we maybe can be good is pressing. Just like not that I think we're like great at it, but I think we our best players are up top. So if they do get the ball in an advantageous area they can hopefully like the more more pressure we sit back and let the more some of these things might get exposed weaker wing backs and stuff um very very similar intensities between the two and and, and i think in, in terms of instructions it's pretty similar i guess the one thing we could do if we want it to be really similar is drop this to a mid block with the standard line but you know what? I think if we do that and we counter press, that might be enough. It might be enough. Simplify it a little bit, take that intensity down, and then we can always like then press more. Um, some some of the interesting new things in the game. Uh, so the fan fans wise. Um, I don't know if everybody's kind of in a similar breakdown. Um, I feel like we're pretty even, ultimately. Um, and they're really just expecting us to be competitive against our rivals. I think they want us to beat a certain rival, but I don't think that's going to happen. What am I going to do about it? Um, 
Yeah, we're currently at the max of squad, so if we are bringing anybody in, we need to remove somebody. But I do think there are spots open to just, like, you're down in the youth. Yeah, we're thin and fullback, huh? I mean, what does this team not play with, like, fullbacks? But, but not that there, there aren't any really, like, wingback guys either, even if I wanted to, like, go to Nito myself and go to a back three. On the right. So, so the need, we do kind of need the depth there. I, I think it can work, though. We're desperate now. but we do have a lot of right wing center back so maybe we can they won't be good moving forward but we right footed center back so we might be able to train a guy and get somebody else out there what does it feel like to be the new head coach very excited uh, it's a great club can't wait to get stuck in challenge do you think is a young head coach um some valid points to bring up I don't think age is important. The best way to earn the respect of the players is winning games and I'm confident. Um, what about this job appeal to you? Um, I want to be the very best at this job, and I think this is a great starting point. I like my team to be strong at the back. It gives us foundation which we can build the rest of the team. I, and I agree with that. That's 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 how we had a lot of success at Brescia in FM22. So we can really only really scout the very small region of Portugal we're in, but uh, we're also only gonna have one scout to really work on stuff, so. And the first signing, David Rosa. Thirty-two years old. Looks excellent for that attacking fullback role that we're thinking about. The jumping reach is a little weak, um, something I maybe should have looked at, because um, I think it can matter, um, but... So, Lorenzo? He might be worth it, man. I'm trying to think. Is he worth it? He looks like he's at least level with our current best defensive player. So we would get a decent carry. And out of desperate. So. I think we would be looking. I, it, it seems like it would be. Seems like it's a, maybe a bad idea to do it early, like we're doing, but... At 30 years old, he could be a legit pairing. We're just getting him in on a free. Defender, better aerially. Not losing a ton tat, um, offensively either. Okay, I think Mertens is somebody we have to be interested in. Uh, I mean, that is what, I, yeah, I mean, if I, that's what I need to bring you here. Um, I'm not opposed. to go lower um, so we're looking to bring in a couple more players um, fringe is maybe a little bit but and we'll just see how we do 
I believe the team is well in, in the right philosophy. Uh, I think every match will help. Um, Martello, yeah, he's one of the best. Um, I think he is. I think he's one of the best players. Um, you should hear the break went well. Now we need to carry the preseason plan to get better matches. Um, it's great to finally get underway. I've been looking forward to, to this moment. Newly promoted team. Um, we're here on merit. I believe we're capable of playing at this level. Team selection. I'm going to look at my starters. So that would be Grillo, Rosa. Still short of full fitness, but so we'll go with the combo. Now we're there. Martin. So a back line that's made of three new signings. And defensive midfielder will be Valente. He's looking a little tired for me. And then Xavi, Cruz, Maria Tavares, Martello. Sporting's B team. The first time out for Bellinessis. And out for Grillo, and he's able to make it, and Bellinessis get into shape. Good one in. Clarence, that works. Helio Cruz. Martins. Striding forward. We'll pull it back. We'll find Cruz, who looks. Chavi. Rosa! And it's a block and a corner. And a good initial outing for us. Chavi. Looking. Tavares, he's the guy you gotta watch out for, and he rattles the post! We're building around Tavares. An opportunity there, but he just misses. Roberto Batista. And a long clearance there. I don't think we're that good in the air. Oh, and an opportunity here as Tremonti finds space and he hits the post. One at each end now after a brilliant job on his part. Chavi. Sean Carlo Maria. And he looks to find his striker, but it's cleared away. Intense start here through the first 10 minutes. And it's in! Pedro! Martello! I, I think he's gonna be good, boys. I think he can score. Just need to keep him healthy. And play as many games as possible. And it's Chavi finding him space, uh, finding a little space wide. It's one thing about this team. Anybody on the squad can cross if they find the right amount of room. Another corner for Bellinessis. And it's Jao Sosa finding room. Yeah, I'm excited for that too, because I uh, there are there were a few. Actually, that was a story line of the early Italy series. Was like all the best players we were finding were like. Uh, I don't think I. Martello's so good. <laughs> He's so. Um, but, um, yeah, so early in my series, we found a lot of interesting Portuguese talent. Um, I don't think, I think I signed some people on loan, but never really made the full-on signing. I'm not even here for regens. This guy might be one of the best strikers I've ever seen. <laughs> that was nuts. He's done, he's now, like, done it all. Got, like, a header. Blasted shot from range, and it was off offside. But he, uh, you know, did the run along the line and get behind the the defense. I'm excited. <laughs> Just try to save some legs. But uh, I mean, it's the first game of the season, and we do have a week until the next game. But. I'll hold a little bit.
Oh, and now, now things are corrected. Bobby, back, nice ball. Gotta move that though. Didn't listen to his keeper. That guy's causing problems. Who's that? Germani? I don't really want to press him, I think. Since he's the striker, then it's just a problem waiting to happen. Tell him. That's from Xavi. Oh, well worked. Maria, back to Cruz. Taking like one extra touch all the time. Counterattack should be on for sporting, but didn't quite nail it. Pure chaos. <laughs> Not that I'm surprised what the lower division play looks like, but absolute chaos. What? What was... <laughs> ah, um, I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna chalk that up to it was an unfortunate animation. Um, <laughs> that wasn't good at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should slow it down. Also, I like did like one speed up. And I don't know on the like match highlight, and I'm I don't know if I'm liking it. I think I must have been playing on just like the standard before. It just seems like a little, a little too fast. Was he on? I mean, he rifled it into the back of the net. Yeah, he's got some Just like sloppy with every touch. I, mean, I don't know if that's better or worse, but at least Tremani, who has scored the two goals, is now off. to Cruz, chipped over the top. Did he stay on side? Doesn't finish it anyway. Do you think he was on side? Oh. Get some fresh legs in the attacking side. I'm a little concerned about Sosa and Rosa, but um, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I just feel like we were oh boy, absolutely dominant in the first half, and then they just like. I don't know if they. Yeah, I just figured something out. Or we just stopped playing well? <laughs> like, it seems more like we just stopped playing well. I'll score.
Yeah, that's what I... Kind of what I thought. He seemed like he wasn't running. Oh. I didn't need to see that. It's even closer than I thought. <laughs> A chance to throw in. To nobody. Way to go. Way to... Way to be. But, uh, that sucked. <laughs> we just converted... I mean, we converted... Yeah, tough chances. I mean, they deserve to win that game, so I guess... The fact that we got a draw is nice, but we did hold possession, we just didn't do anything with it. Hmm. Shame. All square in your first competitive man, um, I'll just say a draw was fair. We, I mean, it sucks to, to be up three, but just absolutely decimated within one minute of each other. Uh, certainly entertained, rather, it's just... I mean, that, yeah, that blast was uh, absolutely unbelievable. And... So out at, at home, one point in the books. Can we get another? Yeah, we're gonna get Tiago Lopez out there. I just wanna make some changes. Sosa's gonna have to play. Um, I think we will bring in Carvalho. In. Chavi. We'll start in Tunis. Starting front three up there. Um, and I'll keep the goalkeeper for now. I'm not gonna go away from him just from like one bad game. <laughs> um, and I don't think that was really his fault. So some rotation just because we have so many that are like losing sharpness so we just got to bring the whole team together but a lot of changes so that might be more difficult to do back. Tiago pressing up. A good chance for a header. Tipped up and off the crossbar. Great. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> back. Mario. Rosa. Looks to ship it in. So Maria can't do it. Alverca. Going the other way. And just beautifully timed. And poor defending from Sosa. We're just getting hit on the counterattack. But we're like, we're not even like playing a high line or anything. It's a great finish. Great pass, great run. Slowly plugging away, we've generated the XG, but they generated two, well, three chances. But I think we're going to come out with a higher tempo in a second. I just feel like we're not doing much with it, and we need to... So we're going to try to force the issue a little bit. Hopefully. I'd rather have 
60% possession for a few more shots and opportunities on goal. It's over into space, brought down. Tavares draws a penalty. I mean, that's just out of nowhere. And he finishes it off. Miguel Tavares, his first of the season. the higher tempo just because the way that the game was going prior to that. You get a gift. It'd be nice to hold on to that to said gift. It's into Marcelo. Tavares. Was he on? No, the flag goes up. Both games have now had insanely tight, insanely tight offside calls. At least where they're drawing the lines for us. It's such a shame. Just moving the ball around. And everything's working, it's just like they're set up to like apply pressure yeah these are the things we need to do flipped into martello can he finish it off he does pedro martello don't you don't you dare don't you dare he timed it this time <laughs> hey oh -ho! Dangerous free kick. Caro mm. makes the save. Bruce heads it down. Pressing forward doesn't do much with it. Jorge Bernardo. Bernardo. It's through. It's over. Rodriguez. The defenders do enough. Up to Costa. Brings it down. Played back to Costa. An opportunity for him and a big save from the keeper to keep it a one-score game. Costa and over. I'm feeling pretty good about the second half, so I'm not looking to make changes, Rodriguez. They, so, man, that sucks, dude. So they make, so we make a run that's like a hair offside, and then he makes it one that's timed perfectly. Yeah. I mean, that's, he's not a strong defender, so he just falls off of Andro, and he holds Rodriguez on. The other, our other defenders don't follow that. Final opportunity. Can we get three back? Or I guess two points back. 
Cruz cuts it out. Striding forward. So our team just can't hold on right now. I don't know. Maybe I do need to bring more defensive subs. Even when we're dominating possession, we gave them one chance. Well, two chances, but like one chance in the second half. They scored. They just got such better chances. Yeah, there we go. So let's motivate the team a little bit. We we were there. That that one was better. That that just showed the first game a bit of a fluke. But it does mean we have now dropped four points from winning positions already. Um, yeah, it'll hurt certainly, but we can take a lot of positives away from the match. A very nice day from Rodriguez. Uh, if you line up to it, it was really impressive. Held the match momentum most of the game and just didn't quite get it done. The, it's there. We're just doing a lot of passing between our back line and we're not making those like through passes. Now, is that because we're not comfortable? Is it because we don't have a player of the quality that's looking to like really press things forward those i think are the questions we're asking um but we've also been a little shaky defensively especially with balls over the top i specifically tried to set up the team to <laughs> slow that down anyway i think we will stop right there uh so excited to get this one done thanks to anybody who came in uh, and watched a couple of chats appreciate everyone um hope to see you again and uh hope you have a great rest of your day